Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment none of you have been waiting for, but I've been waiting for for a long time. We are doing Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. I think that's the only thing it is out for, because it is Nintendo, obviously. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Um, I'm Sweet Side of Fries, Kiernan, by the way. Welcome to my Let's Play. Hello, Timmy and Tommy. Or Tommy and Timmy. Good afternoon. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? I guess they're echoing each other. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. I see. There is so much to look forward to. But first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Incorporated. And I'm Tommy. Probably with Nook Incorporated as well. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? I already have a partner, so I'd happily decline. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday! Hmm. Name. Hmm. I can do my name because I always did that as a child, obviously. No, wait. I, uh, instead of Kiernan, I had a, another, uh, alias, Blaze. Uh, that was my, like, war name with, uh, when, like, my friends and I would roleplay war scenarios. Anyway, <laughs> um, could do Blaze, just as a callback, or could do my name, or could do Fry Guy or something. <gasps> if I was alive, I could pull it. I'm just going to call back. I think I'm going to call back. That's what I always did in Wild World when I played a long, long time ago. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And my birthday, if any of y'alls know. Okay. Blaze, blaze, let's see. Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Blaze. Ah, uh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. And here we create our person. Which I, I think there's a lot more... Oh lord, why am I Ellen? <laughs> I think there's a lot more um, customization available in this. And you don't just spawn in as a, as a person you never really wanted to look like. I guess I'm pretty pretty fair. And what kind of cut? Definitely not the Ellen cut. Let's try something else. <laughs> Seth Everman? I don't think. Mm, I think we can change our hairstyle later, so it doesn't exactly matter. Um, I know a dude with this cut. That's pretty good. Ah... Uh, <laughs> hmm, it's hard to decide. I, I guess I'll just go with this one. It's kind of cool. I mean, we're, we're making Blaze right now. We're not making Kiernan. So, I guess it don't really matter. But it do. Blaze is the dude. Let's go with the, fire, the flaming haircut. And... Mm, that's a lot of eyes. That's a whole lot of eyes. Let's go with... Yeah, I like that. With, uh... With, uh, square nose and, uh... <laughs> uh... Yeah, I like that. I like it. And no cheek shadow. And I think we're looking good. Yeah! Yeah! Great, you're all set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. So exciting! You see, we're quite, pow quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes. In fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. Oh, okay, so we can choose our region. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. I see. So tell me, Blaze, where do you live now? I live in North America. I just gave you guys a location reveal. 
so naturally we'd recommend that you re relocate to an island in the northern hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? Sure do. Very good. We have a number of lovely and uninhabited islands in the northern hemisphere to choose from. You guys are really branching out. Super branching out. You're becoming like a monopoly. Oh, I see Tom Nooks in the background there. You guys probably saw that already. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I'd do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, it looks like we got four choices. And plenty of rivers in all of them, obviously. That's what I'm looking at. Um, the nook, like, circle, maybe that's his shop symbol is... It looks like we're going to be in, like, a smaller area for, for all of them. I keep thinking my camera's over here, but that's just the output. Hey. <laughs> um, looks like we're just going to be in a smaller area for most of them. Um, this one's kind of cool, but it's got two ponds and a whole lot of rivers. That island could be pretty neat to, like, swag out kind of stuff. Hmm... I feel like this is a very important decision. I'll just pick one. I'll do this one. For no apparent reason. Wonderful choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I just have one final question for you. If you could bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? Uh, uh, you can always hunt for some food or catch some fish. Um, you'll be spending a lot of time putting up, uh, like your house or, you know, a tent or whatever and hunting and doing stuff. Um, I think a nice sleeping bag is honestly what I'd prefer. I mean, you can make fire. Uh, you gotta have somewhere comfortable to sleep. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Nook Inc. will co fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. This is a service announcement. The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package, really long name, is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting for board should make their way to the gate at this time. Perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. In other versions of the game, you can just take too long there and then miss the flight. That's not true. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. We're doing a lot of the game right now, but I promise I will talk to you guys in a hot second about... about things. Let's enjoy a nice, nice little video. Mmm, that looks very, very relaxing, and that is a very, very detailed bug. Holy moly. The, the HD of this game is insane. I thought New Leaf was, was awesome. But no, the, uh... The graphics are outstanding. Apparently that cut's popular. <laughs> I've seen like three different clips with people in it. And it looks like there's more hairstyles that we didn't start with also. So there could be more than just the eight that we had. Nice. Trademarked by Tom Nook. He will sell your soul. All right, so yeah, Animal Crossing, New Horizons, we're getting going. We're going to play at least a few episodes, see how you guys like it. I know I'm going to be playing on my own time as well, maybe as Blaze. Once we get into it, I can do some other maybe tedious kind of things. Though I don't think it'll be that tedious. Uh, we can't just record uh, catching bugs for multiple episodes. <laughs> we came in on our ship. Our plane. We're here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. 
This is Gomez, by the way. Can you guys see him? Gummy. Gummy. You probably can't see him. I might adjust it to make you... Let you see. Hi, buddy. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. I think I know who that is. <laughs> We're headed there right now if you would like to move that to follow us. Mmm, I've never played a video game before, so that's very helpful. Are these my people? They're like my, my friendly villagers. We got Mira. Want to get left behind? Let's go. And... Tybalt. Follow the guides. Let's hustle. Okay, that's a hooded tiger. And I like them. You can change your view a good bit. Oh, nice. Ooh, stick. I want to pick it up. Okay. We got peaches! You uh, you get a certain... Get certain fruit on your island. And I got peaches. Nice. Hello, sir. I think I know who you are. Timmy. Alright, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Mira here? And how about Tybalt? T-Bolt. And there's Blaze, of course. That's me. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. I gotta, I gotta give him a, like a sly voice. Let's see, how shall I begin? <laughs> yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate, and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see... Or, let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. Mmm! Alright, so we get to completely choose where our house goes instead of being given a location for a house. Uh-oh, looks like Kiernan's microphone went out for the next couple minutes of footage, so for the next few minutes I'm going to be post-commentating on everything we go through. So let's finish our conversation with Tommy here. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. So yeah, here Tommy gives us our map and our tent for navigation around the island. And then here Tom Nook gives us some really friendly advice, very helpful. For now, choose a spot that speaks to you. Trust your instincts. It has always worked for me, says the multi-millionaire capitalist. And down the road, if you feel you've made a mistake, we can talk about relocating. And that's key because we can move our tent later on, too. I went to the right after that and went into the forest. And I just wanted to take a second to appreciate the beauty of nature. Some good stuff right there. Very pretty. <laughs> Makes me want to cry. And then uh, you can see in the bottom right, we also have our mini-map for when we are walking around choosing a spot. Carrying on, I accidentally pressed a button here to pull that up, so I decided to test it out. Yeet. And then running along, I kind of went along the coastline, and eventually happened upon a spot I liked very much. So yeah, this area is like my favorite because of the waterfall back there, and also just the nice foliage and trees set up right here. So then I start figuring out where I'm going to put my tent. And I decide here to preserve those peach trees because it has to be at least one space away. Now, the only concern that I had was the tent was very close to the shoreline. But I thought it would be far enough away where I could do like a sidestep kind of thing. Um, otherwise, that's a mustake, as I, as I said multiple times. So I, I set it up anyway, and then I went and tested it. I made a mustake. <laughs> but that's alright. Um... We can move it later on anyway. And then carrying on checking the mailbox. Looks like we can add a lot of tags to our mail. And also if you look in the bottom left we can have over 300 letters. Which is crazy. Let's talk to this guy. Yo, I'm Tybalt. You're Blaze, right? Nice to meet you. Garah. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. 
I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's got to have lots of fresh air. I got you. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Blaze? Hmm, being the perfectionist I am, I'll find you a good spot. What? You'll help me find a sweet spot to put this tent? Seriously? Wow, we just met, and you're already doing some heavy lifting on our friendship, Blaze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't butter me up so much. I just want my tents in a perfect location. I might hit you with a net later, even. Alright, let's talk to Mira. You're... Wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Blaze, right? See? Told you I had it. I'm Mira. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, Cottontail. You already found a good spot, huh? I was just trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble, because every spot feels like the best one. Yeah... There's one best one, though, I'm sure. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and this is where it landed. Now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I can throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Being the perfectionist I am. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all just found the right spots to set up your new homes. Oh, I am sure we did, Tom Nook. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. I agree. Timmy, T Mira, Tommy, and Tybalt can set up things here in the plaza. So everyone except me. Meanwhile, Blaze and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Alright everyone, let's get to it. Blaze, would you come see me for a moment? Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm in trouble already. It's like middle school all over again. Okay, Mr. Nook. What can I do you for? Ah, Blaze, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. Okay, I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the peach-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real peaches. You got it, Nookie! Hey, at this part I was gonna do a lot of jump cuts and sound effects. And now I've decided against it. I think I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the nature of the game. Mr. Nook, I return bearing a bounty. Good, good, Blaze. It looks like we've managed to collect up the tree branches. Hmm? You found even more than I asked. That's how I do, baby. I only need the ten, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. It's just how I operate. I'll take what we need off your hands now. Give it to me. I am demanding. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. Well, when you have jump cuts on your side. I'm quite glad... Quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. They look like peaches, smell like peaches, and even taste like peaches. Mm-hmm. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt oranges. So, will you collect six of them for me? Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough peaches for everyone, haven't you? Kiernan was very excited about this fact. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started on the preparations. Here you go, Mr. Nookie Boy. And that, my friends, is the end of the very first day of Animal Crossing. Cool stuff. Now, is that everything? Says Mr. Nook. Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Oh boy. Very well done, Mr. Nook. Very well done. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I know I'm jumping in and out of this voice, but you know... I've participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting and profitable. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but this just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And at this point, guys, I realized my microphone was off. So post-recording Kiernan is leaving, I hand you back to regular Kiernan. Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm uh, I'm really stupid. 
<laughs> I, my my microphone has not been recording for the past uh, 17 minutes or so, so uh, I'm just going to have to re-record some things. Hey, Max. What's going Come on? over here. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say hi. My I just recorded 30 minutes of Animal Crossing, and 13 minutes in, my, my headset died. Oh, fine. So I didn't record any of the audio I had. Really? Yeah, I'm hungry. Oh Give me some food. <laughs> okay. Well, we're back into the gameplay, so let's just continue going. But that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt, with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call it this a deserted island anymore, hmm? What should we call it? Oh, so now we get to name our island. Probably. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And I, and in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. I love democracy. So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. This is a little in my face currently. Uh, okay, while you're here, Max, you can name our island. Because I have no idea what to call it. Yeah, welcome to the Salty Spittoon. How tough are you? <laughs> Hopefully that fits, because I don't have a lot of... Ah. What? Why does it have that whole thing? Yeah, they, they have so many spots for, for letters, and it only lets you do 10. I think it's just right. Otherwise, I can remove the space. Yeah, I it's just right. Salty Isle. Fries are salty. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our, our ideas all at the same time. That sounds efficient. Ready, go! How did she fit that in there? That was like 20. <laughs> what splendid variety. Yes, yes. Each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Blaze seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Blaze suggested... Salty Isle. Are you going to clap or, or what? Thank you. <laughs> wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response, and each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Salty Isle. All right. Splendid. Then from now on, the island will be known as Salty Isle. Well, Blaze, since you've proven yourself by naming, I'd like to rely on you for the other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Hmm. Yeah. You are now. <laughs> you run everything because you came up with your subpar name. I hereby name you the resident representative of Salty Isle. And everybody is happy about this. Blaze, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for our neighbors? Um, a word or two. Of course. Dad jokes. Hmm, so... We've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. This is where we drink the Kool-Aid and get enacted into the cult. <laughs> the island cult. It's fresh juice made from peaches. Our new resident... Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then without further ado... A toast to Salty Isle and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! And now we are all poisoned, or roofied, or both. Alright. Right. Yeah, get it, Tybalt. Get it. This is Mira. Hmm? What'd you say? Cool. It is cool. It's very, very HD. <laughs> Isabel. Isabel. She's not in this one. She's in this one. I think. I think she's here later. Look at the lighting. The lighting's pretty awesome. I'm soulless. <laughs> all right, Nookie. Ah, Blaze, having a good time. Yes. I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. 
We'll keep the fire burning. Uh, I'll go do that. Sounds good to me, but first, you'll probably want this. It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Now I'll just lie on the ground. And there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well, hmm? Just a few items that may be helpful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. And when you're ready, I missed it. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as easy as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all for me now. Sweet dreams, Blaze. Don't talk to me that way. Where's my... Oh, my... Okay, okay. My tent's over here. All right, have a good night, y'all. I'm a little sleepy. What's this? I guess that's there just so we can't read the, the board yet. All right. Tent, sweet tent. I, uh... I put the tent too close to the water, and now I can't walk around it. I have to go all the way around. Need needless to say, that was not my intent. <laughs> I got a radio. A radio. All your body radio. When death's yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we can move them half spaces now. It's still 90 degree rotations, but. <laughs> oh, nice! Look at the lighting! That's nice. And now we have our camping cot. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna put it real close to the door so I don't have to go far from when I come in. I need a full space probably to... Oh! <laughs> That's pretty cool! Yeah, or like me getting into my room in there. It's just like... <laughs> I, call me out. I didn't call anybody out. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Yeet into bed. We are going to rest. I'm getting sleepy. That's probably a good episode. Oh! It's this dude. Do you know this dude? For sure, yeah. KK. Yeah. So, it looks like you've decided to make your way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, Daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but, but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. But you've got to make friends along the way. I think this is the same... Uh, introduction as the GameCube Animal Crossing. Very first Animal Crossing. He's a cool cat, but he's a dog. He's so cool he doesn't even re reference himself as the right animal. Rambling this rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. I am not picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about your friends? It's pretty K. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share with share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life, and I'll catch you later. I see. Time was uh, jumping around before. He is God, actually. <laughs> no. <laughs> Blaze, are you in there? I hope you haven't woken. I haven't woken you abruptly by screaming into your tent. Ah, uh, but I do hope to discuss some things with you. Yes, yes. I'll be here when you're ready. Well, I'll get out there when I get out there. All right. We're uh. <laughs> we'll get there when we get there. That was Animal Crossing, the first episode. Hopefully it was uh, it was watchable with all those um, recording mistakes that I may have made. But yeah, Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Please leave a like, comment, or share it around if you want uh, more episodes of New Horizons. Also, any suggestions for the series um, would be greatly appreciated as we get into it. And yeah, that'll about do it for this one. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.